Hi guys, welcome to our channel. Today's session I am going to discuss about 4 bit triple carry counter. So this is the one type of counter. So this video I focus how to write the very log HDL program for 4 bit triple carry counter. So first I draw the structure of 4 bit counter. So this counter consists of T flip flop. So it's a 4 bit counter. I draw 4 T flip flops. So each flip flop carry one bit value. So here one of the input is clock and common input is reset for this four flip flops. Reset. This is the input signal for T flip flop. Then output of the flip flop is Q. So this one is Q naught. So this Q naught value is given to the clock signal of next flip flop. So T flip flop T F F zero. This is also T flip flop T F F one T flip flop T F F two. It's namely called as second flip flop TFF2. Then final one TFF3. So here we can get the result Q1. So this Q1 is given to the clock signal of TFF2. Then output of TFF2 is Q2. This Q2 is given to the next flip-flop clock signal. The final flip-flop output is Q3. So this is the simple structure of 4-bit triple carry adder. Whenever you get the clock frequency, that time it will use the output values. So, T flip-flop internal structure using D flip-flop. This is the internal structure of T flip flop. So it consists of D flip flop. So DFF, DFF 0. So this one is a data input D. This is the clock signal. It's also an input reset. Then output is Q. So this Q is given to the input D through the NOT gate. So it's a inverter gate. This is the T flip flop uh, structure using D flip flop, the internal structure of T flip flop. Then I draw the truth table. So truth table for a uh, T flip flop. Here the input signal is clock. Our next one is reset. Then Q is the output value. D is the data input value. So data value is 1. Clock is high. Reset value 1. So in this case, the output is 0 because reset value equal to 1. If any input goes to D value on clock signal, the output is 0. Now reset goes to low, clock is high, D value 1. So D flip flop means the output is directly connected to the input value. So Q equal to 1. Now reset value 0, clock value high, D value 0. The result is also 0. So it's a simple truth table for a D flip flop. So based on this concept only, the flip flop will operate. So using this diagram, now I am going to write the program for 4-bit triple carry counter. So as we should first write module, then module name. So here module name is 4-bit ripple carry counter. So all CC represent for ripple carry counter. Then within bracket I mentioned so in this diagram what are the variables used that variable is list out here so here the variable is 
clock then reset then q so these three variables are repeatedly used in the diagram so among these three variables some variable is used for the input variable some variable is used for the output variable so here let me declare the input variable so input is clock and reset clock and reset now i declare output so output variable is q so for i am using what are the variable used in the block diagram that variable is stored uh, between the within bracket then among these three variables which variables are used for input which variables used for output then uh, i declare the function tff so tff represent for t flip flop so in this uh, t flip flop here we are using four t flip flops so first i am taking first one tff 0 tff 0 the output of the first flip flop is q so q is the output signal this q output signal is depends on these two input signals so clock and reset so output of first one is q not so here output value is a vector variable so here using 3 is to 0 then q so first flip flop function over then i am taking second flip flop tff1 so tff tff1 output of uh, the second flip flop is q1 so q1 comma so this q1 value is depends on q0 and reset so q0 comma reset then we go to the third flip flop tff tff2 so output of the tff2 is q of 2 so q of 2 comma so this q of 2 is depends on q of 1 and reset value so q of 1 comma reset the last flip flop tff tff3 so this tff3 output is q3 so this q3 is depends on q2 value on reset value so q3 so this value is depends on q2 on reset finally close the module so this is the simple program for ripple carry counter so now we declare the function of tp flop so this part is over now i write the program for t flip flop so as you should write module so module name t flip flop so this t flip flop is based on the input and output values so clock and reset then q so q is the output value clock and reset is the input values so i declare the input variable so input variable or clock and reset output variable q so q is the output variable so here so d is the one signal so this signal is a wire signal so d is a wire signal. now i write the functions of t flip flop so function of t flip flop is d f f d f f not so this d f f not this function is based on the value q d clock and reset so q is the output this q output is based on the three values d value clock value and reset value so d comma clock comma reset so based on these three values the flip flop 
will produce the output Q. Then one more function is that inverter function. So not of output of node is D. So input value is Q. Then you close in module. So in this program, so far we write the fourth bit input carry counter on internal T flip flop programs. Now we go for write the D flip flop very lock HTML code. So as usual, you write module. So module name is D flip flop. So in this D flip flop, we are using multiple variables. So that variables I list out here. Q, D, clock, and reset. So these are the variables used in D flip flop. So in this variable, some variable allocated for input. So here input variables of D comma clock comma reset. So these three variables are used for input variables. Then output variable is Q. So Q is the output variable. Then this Q is represent in a register. So register Q. Then always add. Here I declare the clock signal. So positive edge of clock signal or negative edge of clock signal. So first I declare the reset signal or clock signal. So positive edge reset or negative edge clock. So these two signals are used in the always set signal. So based on these two signals only the D flip flop is react. So now I take the condition if reset. So if reset value. So reset value is enabled. Once reset value is enabled, the output of D flip flop is always 0. So Q value is 1 P B 0. Yes. So reset value is 0. Clock value is a negative clock. That time the result of D flip flop Q value is 1 T B1. So finally close in module. So this is the simple way to write 4 bit triple carry counter. So first you draw the block diagram. So after drawing the block diagram you can write the program for uh, this module. So, so in this module we are using T flip flop and also D flip flop. So that only I am here writing the program for T flip flop and D flip flop. So you must define the T flip flop and D flip flop here. So thanks for watching my channel. If you are watching first time in my video, kindly subscribe and support us to make a lot of videos. Thank you.